Hello everyone, Carlos here again for keyboard shortcut number 12. It's gonna be about Chief F10, okay? Now this keyboard shortcut right here could work uh, for any laptop, for any computer, for any keyboard, okay? Because it's kind of universal, okay? But it should all work, you know, you know, at the same way if you had the menu button, which a lot of keyboards nowadays don't have, okay? Let me just zoom in. The key menu button is something that you will see something with this logo that you're seeing right now. Okay, and I also put in my layout right here with this one. Okay, so if you have that, then Chief 10 is the equivalent. But I promote Chief F10 because it's actually universal. Any laptop is gonna work. So that's why I didn't name it menu button, so I named it F10. Okay, so we got that. So once now we are in this work um, this workbook, for example, what is it for? Because see, when you're working in a cell right like this one right here, and you press F10, you're pretty much now into a lot of, you can now do more than just a format cell. Now you have a lot of options right here that you can actually take advantage. I'm gonna zoom in for a little bit. And so you can see now that you can actually do a smart lookup, uh, you can do insert, filter, which is this kind of cool for tables, for example. And I'm just gonna go down and you see other options now that with, what happens is that a lot of people right click into it and they do the same thing. But the thing is that Chief F10, you can do it with your keyboard, okay? And I, I think it's cool because you can also move into this interface with the arrows, okay? So that's pretty much it. If you're in tables and do Chief F10, you're also going to get the same options and maybe potentially some additional ones, okay, that we see here. Uh, maybe we, it's hard to, to put out the difference. Say that if you're working with... Um, with a with an object of Excel, it will also appear other options. Let me just maybe put an um, let me just actually back up here. And we had a keyboard because on the previous tutorial, say we click on the chart and we did F uh, Shift F10. See now we have all these options, okay, that we can explore about this object. So it's gonna be very contextual to what you're working with. For a cell, it will give you the options for cells. If a table, it will give you the options of tables, depending if you're inside the table and if you're working with a chart, it will give you the options of chart, okay? Let me just go to the agenda because pretty much that's what it's for, but there is also a, another thing that I wanna to uh, touch that you can navigate through this uh, interface, I call it the options of interfaces, because there's all, I also call it like the interface of actions because you can also do stuff with it. So let me just close this and say, for example, and close this chart maybe, and for example, for this table right here, for example, we can actually say, you know what? I'm actually gonna filter this table on everything that is not specified. I don't have to put filter. I can do it immediately at the active cell. So I'm gonna do Shift 10, um, Shift F10, sorry. And then I'm gonna move to right here where it says filter, okay? I'm zooming in, okay? I'm right there, okay? And let me just, right here, okay, let me just move my keyboard, my arrow, okay. Then let me see if we can see it right there. I'm just moving with my arrow. And then, because you can see an arrow looking um, to the um, to the right, you can actually open it with your keyboard with just doing the right arrow key. And now you can also now move up and down in this section. And now we can actually say we want to filter by the cell value. Once we do enter, this is what's gonna happen. Automatically post the filter and automatically filters by not specified because that was in the sales value, okay? Immediately, we didn't have to put filters. We actually did it more, uh, more faster, okay? So let me just take all the filters, Control Shift L, like I showed you in a previous video. And now, for example, maybe we wanna, say we wanna color uh, two, two cells, for example. This is kinda cool too. You can also select this and this one. These two, for maybe some specific reason, you want to check these two arrows, I mean rows only. So now you go right here. Okay, let me just uh, find myself. Okay, perfect. And now Shift F10, and then we can go to Filter, right here, click, and then go to Cells Color. Okay, now Cells Value, Cells Color. And now you get the two rows who are highlighted. Kind of neat, really. Kind of neat because you can ju you did that without placing filter, without opening the filters, and then selecting the items. No, you actually did it with a a Shift F10. So I'm going to take all the filters again. And the other thing that I want to conclude with is actually you do Shift F10. And then if we zoom in, look at, at the options, okay? There's like one letter on each option that is underlined. 
That means that it's kind of indicating that with your keyboard, if you were to press C, it will copy, okay? If you were to press filter, the one that we just saw, we have to press E, okay? And then once we do E, then the other letter that we have to press is V for ventures, okay? So let's do it one, okay? For example, I'm just gonna go to this point right here and I'm gonna do Shift F10 and I'm gonna do E. Once I get E, I jump from cut to E and now I'm gonna press uh, actually C, the, the sales color, not the sales value. Once we do that, boom, really fast. So kind of cool because if you are using the keyboard to really working a little bit faster, you know, and working with your data. So really take advantage of it because uh, let me just open that at Chief F10. There's more to that, okay? There's more to that. If you're working with a table, you can actually open Power Query by going to that option right there that says get data from sheet. Or if you actually press G after you have opened this interface, you will jump into the immediately into the Power Query window. If you don't believe me, well, let's just do it real fast and now take all the filters and say Shift F10 and do G. And now pretty much uh, Excel is like opening the Power Query interface. So there you go. There you go. That's it. If you, if uh, hopefully if you, well, if you know, if you knew this, perfect. But some people don't know that Chief F10 is very helpful to actually jump into other tools of Excel that are very, very sometimes undervalued. And hopefully this video promote them a little bit because they deserve their attention and they deserve their use because they're very powerful. In case Power Query is for the people who clean data, who work with data, uh, is the best al ally out there for in this tool. All right, guys, so this is it, and I'll see you for video number 13. Thank you.